Um, question, question number one. We want to show so one to six n value m m is not divisible by ten. So we can do case by case. Case one. When n equal one, m equal one plus two equal three. So three is not divisible by ten. Case two. When n equal to m equal two plus sorry this is two one plus two two plus two four four is not divisible by ten. Case three. When n equal three, m equal three plus two equal five. Five is not divisible by ten. Case four. When n equal four, m equal four plus two equal six. Six is not divisible by ten. Case five. When n equal five, m equal Five plus two, seven. Seven is not divisible by uh, ten. And case six, when n equals six, m equals six plus two equals eight. Eight is not divisible by ten. So we discuss all the cases hence. One greater than n greater than or six n during this interval m equal n plus two interval you can write or oh, m is not divisible by ten. Question number two. We want to prove that every odd integer. Between two and six, odd integers. So, what are the odd integers between two and six? Three, five, seven, eleven, thirteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty-one, and twenty. Three every odd integer. Actually, we can divide into two cases. Right. So in between there are two cases. Um, odd integer we can discuss in two cases. Case one and case two. Case one is uh, primes. So three. Three, five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, fifteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty-one, twenty-three, twenty-five, and that's all. So, case one is prime. And then they are odd integers. We have to write as a uh, product of two prime numbers. So, so case one, uh, let's start again. Consider odd numbers. Between two and twenty-six, so three, five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, fifteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty-one, twenty-three, twenty-five. Uh, now, case one. Fine. 
case one. Um, Wait, right, case one. Three. Okay, case one. Find numbers. Three, five, seven, eleven, thirteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty-three. Case two. Five numbers odd. Case two non prime. Odd. What are the nine prime odd? Nine. Fifteen. Twenty one and twenty five. Then uh, case one. Case uh, case two a nine. You can write three times three. Uh, case two b fifteen. You can write three times five. Case two c twenty one. You can write. Uh, seven times three. Case two D twenty five. You can write five times five. Of two primes. So product of two primes product of two primes product of two primes hence by case one and case two It is proved that the odd numbers between two and twenty six are either Prime or product of two primes. Question number three we want to show that two consecutive square numbers between one square and two eight square is odd number. Consider square numbers between one to consider square numbers between one square to eight square bracket two square three square four square five square six square seven square now case one two square plus three square four plus nine odd number case two three square plus four square Odd case three four square plus five square odd 
is for y square plus six square odd k is five six square plus seven square odd hence the sum of two consecutive numbers between one square and eight square is always an odd number odd number Question number four. Prove that all cubic numbers are either. So we'll consider. Okay, just to explain. So all numbers two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, like that. Um. is we have to divide into earlier odd and even we did a sum like that divisible by 2 which is odd uh, and uh, divisible by 2 and remain 1 that is uh, sorry divisible by 2 even and remain 1 is odd likewise this is number line all integers 10 and 11 like that up to infinity this integers I am put into three baskets I divide and no remainder and one remainder then two remainders right 1 divided by 3 yes how many remainders no and remainder is 1 so 1 goes to here 2 goes to 2 divided by 3 so basically you can't divide by 3 just remainder 2 2 goes here 3 3 divided by 3 is 1 and remainder actually if I like show that this one 1 divided by 3 0 and remainder is 1 1 out of 3 so 2 divided by 3 is 0 and 2 remainder out of 3 3 divided by 3 is 1 remainder Sorry, 1 and no remainder out of 3. This is go here. Then 5. 5 divided by 3 is 1. Sorry, 4. 4 divided by 3, 1. And then 1 remainder out of 3. So 1 remainder go here. Then 5 divided by 3, 1. And this is going to be 2 remainder out of 3. 5 goes here, then 6, 6 divided by 3, 2 and no remainders, out of 3 it is 6 goes here, so 3 also goes here, I, I think I didn't put it, because 3 divided by 3, 1 and no remainder, right, so What is yeah? Uh, this is no remainder. So three, six, one, four. So one here, four, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So likewise, all the number line. Now, what is the next one? Seven. Seven divided by three, two, and remainder. Uh, 
one out of three. Ooh. So seven goes here. Then eight goes here. Nine goes here. Ten goes here. Eleven goes here. Then twelve goes here. Thirteen goes here. Fourteen goes here. Fifteen goes here. Sixteen goes here. Seventeen goes here. Likewise, we can change divide this number line 1 to infinity to 3 baskets. So this is all divisible by 3. So this is 3n. This one, when you divide 3n, you will remain 1. This is when you divide by 3n, so remainder 2. So now we have to discuss this whole number line we are bringing to a, the three cases. Now we will discuss case by case, case 1, case 2, case 3. So case 1, so divisible by 3, divisible by 3, then this is going to be 3 n what is it it is cube cubes right this is going to be 27 n square um, so we can write this one multiple of 9 9 times 3 times n square right which is multiple of 9 case 2 uh, remain the 1 out of 3 when you divide so this is going to be 3 in plus 1 cube so I'll explain this one, 3 n plus 1 times 3 n plus 1 square, this is going to be 3 n plus 1 times 9 n square plus 6 n plus 1. Now this is expand from here, 27 n cube, this is uh, 18 n square, this is 3n and this is 9n square this is 6n plus 1 so then this is 27n cube then this is uh, 27n square and this is 9n plus 1 27 is that right Yes, 27 n cube, 27 n square, plus 9 n, plus 1. So I write this one. Then uh, I can take uh, 9 n out from here. Then this is going to be... 3n square plus 3n plus 3 plus 1 which is going to be 9 1 more than so this is going to be I did the calculation for this one. Uh, 3n plus square, this is going to be 4n square plus 2n plus 4. Then I expand and now uh, answer is this. 27n cube plus 54n square plus 36n plus 8.
when I take uh, 9 in now this is going to be 3 in square this is going to be 6 in plus 4 plus 8 So now here, 1 less than multiple of 9. When you remainder, divide by 9 and remainder 8. So this is 1 less than multiple of 9. Hence, all cubic numbers are either mul multiple of 9 or 1 less or more then a multiple of 9. In here, I take this one into divide by 3 and no remainder and remainder 1 out of you mean a 2 out of so whole number line break into a 3 baskets why I did why I did breaking into these 3 baskets because I could break it into 9 basket by dividing by 9 and remain the 1 remain to 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 0 likewise but uh, not because of this cubic because 3 is a factor of 9 that's why 3 is a factor of 9 that's why we break in into that question number 5 part A now in here we disprove by Giving a count example. If n is positive integer, so n square minus n is divisible by divisible by 4 consider n equal to n equal 1 work then I'll check n equal to um, 2 square in 4 actually 2 to the power 4 minus 2 so 16 minus 2, 14. So 14 is not divisible by 4. Hence, the statement is not true. B. integers always have an even number of factors integers always have a even okay we we'll take integer few integers one how many factors one two one and uh, Two. Okay, this is uh, 
correctly. So this is also count example 3, 1 and 3. This is 1 and 2, 2, even odd. 3, 1 and 3, 2, 4, 1, 2 and 4, 3. So integer 4 has three factors. They are 1, 2 and 4. Hence, the statement is not See, 2 n square minus 6 n plus 1 is positive for all values of n. Is positive for all values of n. Consider n equal 1. I can see 2 minus 6 plus 1, n equal 1, then 2 minus 6 plus 1 equal minus 3. Hence, n equal 1, 2 n square minus 6 n plus 1 has negative value hence statement is not true the 2n square minus 2n minus is multiple of 3 4 all values of n consider n equal 1 then 2n square minus 2n minus 4 equal uh, going to be 2 minus 2 minus 4 which is minus 4 hence statement is not not true I'm not sure part C the value for this one is 2n square minus 6 in plus 1 I think I check n equal 1 2 minus 6 plus 1 uh, so it's minus 3 so not possible so statement statement is not true